So uh, Alan wants to know then, going on what you just said, yeah. uh, Alan brought up, if elected, would you further investigate uh, the 2016 uh, elections in California? Is that something you would further investigate? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Why? Well, uh, you know, I, I think uh, we, we definitely had a problem with the primary. Uh, you know, all the viewers know uh, what those issues were, you know, the no party preference uh, issues where if you were a no party preference voter, you didn't get a Democratic ballot unless you had unless you asked for it. California has this crazy thing called the ballot surrender rule uh, basically means that if you get a ballot uh, and then, you know, you go down and and say, hey, you know, I, I got this weird ballot. Um, it doesn't contain any of these uh, Democratic candidates on it. Uh, and you want a new one, well, you have to turn that old ballot in. And a lot of people, they went down to the polling stations, didn't know that, and they didn't turn that in. And so what happened was they said, oh, we'll just fill out this provisional ballot. you know. And, and some people didn't even show up to the polling stations because of the fact that they got a, a provisional ballot, uh, or not a provisional ballot, a, a ballot that didn't have the candidates they wanted to vote for in it. Very complicated procedure. You can go and take a look at the reasons and excuses. I call them excuses because it's really unacceptable um, you know, the reasons why, uh, this, this occurred, um, it, it, it almost seems intentional. Um, and now I wouldn't say necessarily that it was intentional, but man, you know, the fact is, is that, you know, when you take a look at all of the facts that, that line up, there are so many more simpler solutions. I mean, you basically could make it so that if someone's eligible to vote for, for a candidate, they show up on your ballot. Uh, this this totally impacted the way that uh, things went here in the primary. I want it to be nonpartisan. Um, you know, the Secretary of State really is a position where you shouldn't be out there endorsing other candidates and, you know, uh, vying or jockeying for political positioning. Uh, and so that's what I want to do. Um, I know that the current Secretary of State uh, goes and makes regular endorsements, you know, and, and uh, I just think there's something wrong with that. It, it's been a difficult line to tow, too, by the way, because... Everybody's so used to there being endorsements, um, you know, but the fact of the matter is, is the person who's in charge of elections, if you want to instill confidence, shouldn't be out there politicking. So, and people overwhelmingly agree with that. Um, I don't know. I kind of got lost. but <laughs> No, no, no. I mean, I, I think that's a very noble uh, position to take, and I'm sure it's not super easy, especially right now, because I'm sure as a citizen, you have very strong views. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure you do. Um, so, but you got to like, if given this position, this is how you would treat it and you would try to respect the integrity of it. Uh, and you would try to make it better, which is desperately, desperately, desperately needed. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from get your news on with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just get your news on with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash Ron Placone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.